fac pe care Here for a little bit. Okay, let me uh, adjust the mic here. All right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so let me fly over the water here. So try not to disturb everybody on the beach, and we'll increase the altitude to about 300 feet. And I am just going to keep on getting it as far as I can. Wow, what a view, right? We are in Marco Island in Florida. And uh, behind all these buildings, there is a, uh, <coughs> an entrance to a marina. But uh, yeah, rainy, but not that windy today. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, very dramatic skies. You can see behind the buildings back there that we're starting to see a lot of rain uh, over the 10,000 islands. Here we are cruising right along. I'm going to bring it up to 400 feet. Oh boy, overshot it a little bit. I'll bring it down here. We're now 1,800 feet away. 1,900 feet away. You see this three man-made structures to the lower right-hand quadrant is for uh, attracting fish. And I've been um, snorkeling down in there and it's uh, a lot of fun. It's not that deep, about 30 feet of water, so it's worth it. 2,500, 2,600 feet away, 397 feet away. Coming up to the limit of the Zeno here, but the views are fantastic. The Zeno does really well with the automatic 4K settings. Here we are, 3,200 3, feet. It should disconnect here in a little bit. It's still rocking over a kilometer, guys. 3,280 is a kilometer, and it's still moving. Okay, let's keep on pushing it. Wow, 3,400 feet. We are over 1.1 kilometer. Don't quote me on that, but oh, there we are. Disconnect. 34.56 is where we're seeing the disconnect. And the FPV is still working fine. So one of the things that I want to test over the beach is the fact that we're reflecting the signal off the water and increases your distance to transmit your FPV. Now as we all know we have a hard stop on the Zeno distance uh, at 3280, one kilometer, but it seems like it went over Oh gosh, uh, 1,071 meters, I believe is what it is. Somewhere around there. So now I'm going to hit back, <coughs> and I'm going to yaw to the right really slightly to give you guys a view of the island. There's a couple really nice marinas down there that will take you. You can get on a boat, paddle boat, kayak, or you can rent a power boat and go on out to those islands done that before, about 10 years ago, and it was a wonderful experience, highly recommend it. Here we are, cruising back, giving you guys the view of those islands. And we'll slowly decrease height here a little bit, but just wanted to give you guys this look. So, all the folks that set up the umbrellas and uh, the chairs for rent are busy themselves setting them up. <coughs> Here we are, cruising back, 1,600 feet, 48% battery. 
picture on the camera is 15 degrees, minus 15 degrees. And we're rolling back about 18 miles an hour. I'm going to pull away from the buildings to give you a broad view. been a stormy morning as you can see from the clouds but things are looking pretty good okay decreasing speed to uh, I'm sorry decreasing in height down to 240 and dropping and a thousand feet away and closing and there we are we're starting to see uh, all those umbrellas and chairs I was telling you about. And the Dahobie Cat rentals, I can see them too. And I'm just going to continue past the location that I'm at and just see how far I can get down the beach in this direction because I still have 45% battery. I figured I might as well just keep on filming and showing you guys the, the view here. You can see the folks have set up their um, umbrellas are busy there. I'm going to go ahead and pull away from the beach not to disturb the walkers and the sunbathers and give you guys a feel of what the island looks like at 70 feet above the surf. And you'll probably hear some voices in the background from all the people walking by and doing their jobs. Okay, I'm going to keep on getting it down. I am now 1,700 feet away, 38% battery. Oh, there goes a bunch of birds. And uh, I'm thinking about heading back at 37% battery, so I'm going to yaw to the left to reveal the other side of the island. So we've got some really beautiful buildings here. And one of them is the JW Marriott. Beautiful place. I uh, highly recommend if you get a chance to stay. And uh, that's where you see uh, all the umbrellas right there in the tiki bar, or I'd say like tiki huts way down there. Uh, it's a very nice place. A lot of big conventions. Oh, and there you go. There's the point opposite of where we've just been. And they call that at, at the very end of that point, there's a Tiger Tail Park. And it's a Collier County. Um, Park. So it's a very nice park. Been there before. Lots of things to do there. Okay, heading back. Uh, 140 feet in height. 300 feet in closing. And here I am. I'm going to bring you back at 32% battery now. Um, right above my location. Where I'm flying from. But yeah, that's that's Marco Island. Pointing camera down. And I am gonna reveal where I'm sitting. <coughs> and there I am. And I'm gonna start bringing it. I uh, know, I still got 30% battery. Let's take a look around. There's the paddle board. Ah, yes. And the kayaks. And there we are. Just kind of giving you shots of the surf. We're now 28% battery. And I'm just going to cruise it on back again. 
give you guys the bird's eye view of the surf. Kayaks on the right, hobie caps on the right, paddle boards on the right, and here's just the water. If any of you all been to the Gulf, uh, the southern part of the United States in, in Florida, this is what the water looks like. Very nice place to vacation, no doubt. And there we go. 25% battery. And here we are. I'm going to start lowering this guy down. We are at 31 feet in height. And I am going to bring it down now. So as you can tell, these beaches are very nice. They're not very crowded. And they sure are a lot of fun. And there's a good view of the Gulf. Pitching the camera down. And there I am. And there's my shadow. And there's a Zeno case. We try to catch this guy, but he's dancing all over the place. <laughs> Good old Zeno. Alright, and there it is. Fun day, good flight, good job Zeno. I will spin around so you guys can see me. This is the Hubs and Zeno test flight at Marco Island. It was a range test and it went about 3,300 feet, which is very good for the Zeno. And it flew about 14 minutes and 50 seconds. So uh, average time, but uh, the battery's been sitting for a while. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.